Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again. I'm a little not okay right now, but tonight I will teach you one technique that I just discovered recently. Because most of my Dialux users, friends in Facebook, ask me where did I get these uh, beautiful bags and these lovely trees. So previously, I I told you how to get it using the SketchUp software but now I will teach you the other way on how to get it and much easier compared to SketchUp this is by using another software called Pecan Planner so this is the tab for the Pecan Planner so if you go to your um, Google type Pecan Planner <clears throat> yeah Pecan Planner download and you will go uh, you will get this one this is the Pecan Planner. It's for free, but there is also another um, version which you need to pay a little because it has an uh, upgraded version. But this is for free. So this is the Pecan Planner. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you can download it for free. So uh, once you downloaded your Pecan Planner, just click this download uh, button here and then you can just download it for 32 or 64 uh, bit option. And once you downloaded it, it will be look like this icon. So once you uh, click that icon, it will open like this. And I will say I will not download the up, up, updated version. And then uh, now you have your, it's like a, a 3D Max uh, window. Or I would say, yes, somewhat like 3D Max or SketchUp also. So it has very few uh, icons here also on the other side. Um, so if you want to get an object like my this like this beautiful bags or dress or um, cash counter or clothes I have some nice mannequins also here you can also download it here for free and also those shoes and boots and um, other stuff it is for free and it's easy to download and you can also download a lot of trees like this one which I use in my Evo competition and in my project so this lovely trees I will show it to you in 3d later okay so here we go one of the file is open now I will show you this um, lovely trees which I get using the pecan planner see these are all the low poly trees it's not that heavy so you can select a low poly tree so it will not hang your uh, 3d fi uh, evo file see these are only less than 1 MB can you imagine this is really less than 1 MB file so even if you put lots of trees in your garden or in your landscaping design or in your facade it will not that much heavy because these are all low poly trees so you can get this one using pecan planner or uh, 3d sketchup or sketchup software or in the 3d warehouse sketchup so see these are low poly trees Yes, it's true that it's only less than one MB file. If you want to see the file, I will show it to you later. Okay, so these are sample of the low poly trees. <clears throat> there are also uh, small plants. Uh, there are also plants that are low poly and flowers also, if you like. And of course, aside from that, you can also get some like mannequins or bags or shoes for your retail shop so all right let's go and check this one so this is now your pecan planner the pecan planner is a free software so you just have to download it if you don't like SketchUp so once you open this um, window go to this 3d warehouse so it seems that pecan planner is also connected to the 3d warehouse it seems so they can also access this so go to the 3d warehouse tab and select for example a Let's go and select, for example, a low poly trees. You can type low poly tree and then select uh, press the search button. And then you will have this uh, 3D files from SketchUp from 3D Warehouse. And you can select your low poly trees here. There are lots here. So you can see here now that these are uh, some of my collections. If you want to check that, um, the 3d file see this is only five five hundred sixty five KB it's very low file it's it's not that too heavy and uh, if you want to check the 3d go and click this one and then you can rotate it 
and you can say that okay this tree is okay, really really cool and I love this one so once you check this one and you saw that this uh, file is only 565 KB or less than 1 MB then go and uh, click download and then it will uh, download and then it will go just say okay whatever the setting is don't touch the setting it's okay and then click and click to the horizontal just minimize this one and now you will have if you go here in the 3d and go to the orbit you will see now that you have your low poly tree it's really cool look at this one and if you want to see if there are other uh, objects behind this file go to the view and zoom extends make sure that nothing is beside the object because sometimes this tree has plants or stones or people around it or maybe a um, wall so make sure it's nothing if if there is something behind it you need to delete it and then once you open it go to the file and export and then go to the geometry and then select 3ds you have to make sure that it's 3ds file and then say uh, this is low poly you have to name it properly like it's low poly pine tree okay and then I will save it in my documents and then say save and then just select low or medium I always uh, select the sorry low or minimum but I always uh, select the low one and then say export and then it's easy so once you go to your um, uh, documents you will see now that your low poly pine tree is there and it's only 163 KB so if you go to your 3d files <coughs> I mean to your dialogs evo file file go to your file and then export I uh, sorry import go to the 3ds file and then select low poly pine tree and then open and then I will say yes it will be invalid and now there you go your low poly pine tree is there so you can adjust the texture the color of the leaves and also the height of the pine tree if you like so if you want to change the color of the leaves of course go to the materials pick material for example this one so it's a transparent green so you remove the transparent transparency or you can select the color here in the catalog and select the green and select this one and then apply and then you can just drag and drop there and then maybe you want to add another layer with 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 a little yellowish and maybe a little green or a little yellow if you prefer to have a more yellowish so it will be look like this now you have your lovely pine tree okay later once the once the other file is open i will also show you how to get your bags and shoes for your retail uh, lighting design okay so here we go the retail shop is now open this file is a little heavy that's why it takes time to open okay now I have you can see now I have this um, lovely mannequin a, ma a female and a male one and I have this cute male shoes and I have this lovely and sexy shoes for women and a cute bag and dresses and skirts and pants so I have everything here I have polo shirt here look at this one and I have red shoes over there and um, the dress here also and if you have and if you can see there are lots of bags also here in a scarf and I have a collections of lovely and cute bags here so where did I get these nice things which are very good in a retail shop design for uh, lighting so um, similar to what I did for my facade and landscape lighting a while ago these are all came from the 3d warehouse but instead of using SketchUp I used the Picon planner so let's go and check this one so let's go back to our Picon planner <clears throat> I will say no I will erase this one now because we already exported it and let's go back to the one we uh, minimized uh, a while ago and now let's type uh, say bag and then search 
make sure the bag you selected is low poly as well. It should be less than um, 1 MB. Okay, I have one, this one, a cute handbag. Let's check this one and say, yeah, so this one is 504 KB. You can, we can get this one. So if you like to check, if you want to check the 3D, you can click this um, tab, rotate tab, and then rotate it. And if you, if you think that this bag is amazing and you want to use it in your retail design, then let's go and download it. So click this download tab, and then now it's, it will start downloading. And then say OK. And then click on the middle of the X and Y axis and also here on the horizontal. Then um, minimize again this one. Zoom extend again because you have to make sure that it doesn't have anything beside this bag. And then go in orbit and check it again. So if you think this is fine, this bag is really cute, then go and export this one into that 3DS file. We will say this is cute handbag and say save and say low and then export now I think it is exported let's go to my documents and see if it's there so it's now here the cute handbag and you can see here now that those those textures are also included in the export so you can use the same texture if you want this, the same texture here so uh, let's see this is only 146 KB so it's very low and it's very good for your um, retail design <clears throat> so let's go and check and export this cute handbag here in our design so go to the file import 3d file and then select the cute handbag and then yeah let's say continue and then it's there okay now it's a big bag and we need to uh, change the we need to change the scale of this bag so if you can see it's here it's 3 by 0.8 by uh, 0.698 so just put the decimal point here at the same time here also so it will be 0 0.08 just adjust one point for every value and now you have the same proportion like before and now you can move now your really cute bag on your table let's move it right click move move it upward oh it's not there yet so it's here. Now that cute little bag, oh, cute little bag. The cute bag is now there in your table. See, the texture is also included in the uh, importing. But double check the texture because sometimes it's not properly properly inserted. So let's say I will check this one and change a little. Yeah. Okay. What I did is I put some glossiness to just to change the. Uh, settings of the texture and also this one make sure it's correct yeah it's fine and if you want to change this see even this pearl I think it's not correct so you can you can insert um, you can get the texture of that but uh, of that bag using the create texture materials and click this one for the diamond Okay, if it's not working properly, then go and select the color catalog and maybe select the, um, what is this, red or from the pink. Where is the pink coming from? Here, light pink. And then just make it a little glossy and then say, yeah, that is the diamond pink. All right. So I think <laughs> my dialog is not working now. So that's it. And... Um, Okay, so that's it. If you have more questions, just let me know and send, send me a message. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.